job. I used to have this job a while back, you see. One of those jobs where you know, I just hated it. I hated everything about it. I hated getting up in the morning and going there, you know. I hated it the whole time I was there. I hated it when I got home because I was too tired and dirty to go out at night, you know. As soon as I used to get home, I used to walk in the door like straight for the refrigerator. Go grab a beer, you know. And then I walk into the living room and turn on TV and sit there and light up a joint and just sit there and watch TV all night long. I had it down, I had it down pat. I watched Gong Show twice, you know, I had it down. We'll be able to kiss life a Riley. Every night at 11 o'clock, just turn on, here's Johnny. And I started buying everything they told me to buy. As I leave here, I'm going down to Crazy Eddie's and stock up with some albums because I like the commercial. I just sit there and stare at that thing all night long. Sit there and stare.
WFM in New York. First few rows there were like uh, totally absorbed in the show. Well, I, I think there may be a couple of guys from Pittsburgh here tonight. I'm, I'm not sure. This band is, um, they're dynamic musically. Like they're not flashy on stage. They're not, you know, into like pretty boy tricks on stage. But musically, they're so dynamic. And there's obviously a real connection that people can make with this band. It's sort of like sort of like the Jay Giles band meets Graham Parker on a real good night and they're having a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Iron City House Rockers. They're just an honest rock and roll band. Yeah. You know, there's, there's no pretense about them. They just get up there and they play. And they're not really a, a visual act in the sense of the word as you say that they do anything flashy or well, well. Now this band, as I understand it, has been playing the bars in, in, in Pittsburgh and throughout that part of Pennsylvania for the past five or six years. And they have that feeling to them, that bar band feeling to them. But they write some incredible Incredible songs. Well, they're definitely uh, deserving of us going back on stage now and uh, getting this. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 